Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself, Ashura Saxena, and we are working on the Kinder programming series. Like in the Python programming series, we are working on Kinder. And today I am going to start with a new program. So the previous video I have discussed about the images. But today I am going to start with some very interesting stuff. So here I am going to create a new file first of all. And let's use the first project you can say. And uh, let's start. So now here what we are going to do, we will be creating one window in which we will be taking some input and we will be using that data we will be submitting that data and it will be coming on the terminal so let's start first of all i have taken our package then let's create the very basic structure of printer now i am taking some labels and with the help of grid i am going to pack them so here you can see I have taken username and password. After that, so what I am going to use that is f string. You can see actually the concept of f string I am covering here, and f string is basically formatted a string. So when we are dealing with the f string, it is basically f four nine eight. Like f four nine eight introduces a new string formatting mechanism known as literal strings interpolation, or more more commonly known as f string. So F string provides a concise and convenient way to embed Python expressions inside string literals for formatting purposes. So here we can just deal with the variables, either integer variable or string variable. Right now I'm taking a string var because when we are working on this uh, text box, so at that time we take the input and that input is actually in the string format only. So now I have taken the text boxes, you can see entries and uh, here we have taken two entries. One is for the user and another username and another is for the password. So this entry which we are taking here, we are taking text variable equals to user value. So the value which we will be taking that will be going towards this user value string where it will be showing there and in the value of the pass entry will be showing in the password. That means the password. So after this, I'm just packing both the entries which we have taken. Then let's create the button. And here we have just taken this main loop. But now what will happen here? When we will be clicking on the button, then the data which we are taking input, that should be submitting somewhere. So for that, I am taking one command. You can see get wells and that get wells function I am going to create now. So let's do that. So here I'm defining function get wells on the top here. Let's define it. And what we have done here, we have taken here the F string. So this F basically defines that we are taking the F string. So here the value of the username is now we have to use this formatting mechanism that braces we have used user value dot get and then value for the password last value dot get so let's run this particular program and check it's working properly or not and here we go you can see this is our layout uh, here username is there suppose i'm taking my name Ashwarya. okay and some password i'm taking and submit now I, if i'm submitting so like because we have taken show equals to as fix so it is taking the masked password but when we are submitting it as i have told you before also the password will be visible so this is the beauty this is the thing which is in python we do not have to worry about a lot of things and how it will be coming let's run it once again and uh, let's run it once again so here i am taking username fame world and password some password i have taken and submit and now you can see the username and password is properly coming. So now we are able to carry the values of the form to our terminal. I hope this was interesting and you have understood it and it's really simple. This is the concept of F string. So in the next program, I will be dealing with the better project. Like this was a small one, 
where we have seen that how we can handle the values of the front end at least we can hold it with the help of f string so see you in the next video